Okay, Miss Adams Green Group. Uh, I just want to show you what your line sounds like. Let's see, let me just get the melody. All right, so here's what your melody line sounds like. Okay, not a bad line. I think last week we were thinking of maybe changing these, the C's, these two C's, just change it to one ta, and then the same with the B. So just do C, B, A, G. But this is what you had, so I went ahead and put it in. Okay, after looking at your melody, these are the chords that I came up with. Um, your first chord would be a C, followed by another C, a G, two G's, and then two C's, and then here you have an F, then a C, which I thought was kind of interesting. Now what I want you to do is I want you to compose a bass line. Now I went ahead and made the simplest bass line possible with just eight ta's. Now to make things easier for you to write, I don't want you to worry about writing note heads, this, the dots. I don't want you to worry about writing the dots. I just want you to worry about writing the sticks, just the stem part, okay? Because um, underneath the stem, you're going to put the letters that you chose. Uh, so don't worry about writing the notes. Um, but I just wanted to use it here so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, to build your bass line, you're going to use these chords to kind of guide you to where, what it should sound like, what would sound good. So, for instance, your C here, I'm going to keep it as a C because there's a C in this chord, all right? And here, I could put another C since it's another C chord, but I could also make it an E since there's an E there, okay? Uh, your G, there's no C in the G chord, so I'm going to make this, oops, I don't want to move the whole thing. I'm going to make this a G. So I have two C's, two G's, and why not make it two G's? C, E, G, G. And then here, uh, why not have it be, why not have it go back to E and have it do two E's. Then here we got to put an F, F and then C. Why not just leave it at C? Okay, or maybe we'll make this one a G. Why not? Okay, so let's hear this interesting bass line. So let me take the take everyone else off. And let's just hear the bass line. Let's listen. Okay. All right, not not too bad. Uh, the one thing that I wish was different is that this is pretty much like a first grade, maybe even a second grade line, because um, even though it's going to different notes, which is a little bit more difficult, um, the rhythm is nothing but ta 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 ta. It's um, it's all our, it's just st the steady beat. So it'd be interesting, maybe if you match this here. Maybe make this a bomp bomp T. Uh, maybe make these T T's. Maybe just make this one a T T. Um, you could do that. Uh, but let's hear what this sounds like with both the melody and the bass line playing together. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, so it's not too shabby. It has the beat there, um, but again, see if you can try something a little different. Make it a fourth grade level rhythm. And your goal is to have this line and this line is to play both lines together at the same time. So uh, a couple of you are going to play this line and then the others are going to play this line. And I want to see if you can play them together at the same time. Okay, that's your goal. Good luck.